I'm Shizuka Minami, in first year of high school. I've got something troubling me these days. At our school, we have a locker for our valuables and things we don't want people to touch separate from our classroom locker, but... Gosh, not again. For the past few days, someone has been messing with my locker. What is this? Hair wax? Yesterday, it was a nameless answer sheet for an exam. Before that, it was a wristband. I lock it without fail, but I wonder how this person keeps putting stuff in. If it was just a prank, wouldn't the person just put in some trash? What's this message? As weird as I found it, I ignored it, thinking that it would stop if I don't react to it. But yesterday... You're using the wrong locker. Huh? What the heck? What is this? Wasn't it just some kind of prank? Nope. This is my locker. Aren't you using the wrong one? The correspondence continued the following day and even the day after that. This is a locker for first year students. Yesterday, I checked with all the teachers from every class, but there doesn't seem to be anyone who's got it wrong. What year are you in? I'm in the first year too, but I wasn't asked anything like that. Excuse me, but what's your name? I'm Shizuka Minami. Then the next letter said the following. Here's my conclusion after a night of reflection. Looks like our lockers are connected by some type of warp in the magnetic field. I'm certain there's no student at my school named Shizuka Minami. Looks like we just have to share this locker and keep things friendly as fellow first graders. It's true that the locker stayed locked, so it might be credible? He used Boku, so I guess this person's a boy. Oh! Oh! So sorry! You were staring into space, so I thought you were just a huge figurine! That hurt! This is Warumi Shone for my class. She's a gyaru who bullies others. She's had her eyes on me ever since I entered the school. She pokes fun at every little thing I do and taunts me. I'm a victim of her bullying. You ugly introvert! <laughs> Putting trash in my desk. How childish. <laughs> I once went to my homeroom teacher about this, but Warumi has good grades even though she's a gyaru. She's liked by the teachers, so I wasn't taken seriously. Ah, oh, jeez, such a mess. Hey, are you alright? I just heard a big noise. Uh, Akira senpai! Oh? Do you know who I am? I mean, you're famous around here, so. Here, you drop this. Th thank you so much! Akira senpai is in the second year, awesome at sports and intelligent. He's popular with all the girls from every grade. I actually have a secret crush on him, too. Were you able to pick up everything from inside your locker? Uh, I yes, I was. Um... Oh, that's alright. Is this your locker? Huh? Oh, yes. Then you're that one who's using it. Mm, well, I guess... I see. See ya. Huh? Akira-senpai is hot, but sort of mysterious. Hey, you there! Were you just chatting with Akira-senpai? And Warumi's here. Not really. He just helped me pick up things that fell out of my locker, so... The heck? So Akira-senpai actually touched your belongings? You're so cheeky for an introvert! Ah, my notebook! Seriously, so gross. You're just ugly and stupid. I might be ugly, but I'm no idiot. Huh? <laughs> then try getting a better score than me on next week's math test. If I win, there'll be a penalty game in store for you. Wh what? Wait a minute. But I'm not good at math. So it's decided. So excited about the next test. Hmm... What's this one-sided bet about anyways? I wonder what she'll make me do if I lose. There's no way I can beat Warumi. She's too smart. 
A letter? Shizuka-san, are you getting bullied by any chance? Your notebook inside the locker was all ripped up, so... If you need help, I'm here to listen. <laughs> what a nice guy. From his letters, I could tell the person on the other side of the locker was a good person. I wrote about how I'm getting bullied by a Garu from my class, and how I got forced into a math test bet that I've got no chance of winning. I see. If it's math, I might be able to help you. If you'd like, let me know where you're going to be tested. Let's study together. Oh! And from this day began our intense study sessions. I left corrections, so please try to focus on studying this section for today. Looks like you're struggling to apply the theories, so you should review this formula. There's more trick questions than you might expect, so make sure you carefully read the problems. Got it! Awesome! Your accuracy rate is going up! Keep this up. Don't force it, though. Make sure you get enough sleep at night. It's like I'm not all alone in this. It feels so encouraging. And he's also becoming more friendly. Then, on the day of the test... Stay calm and try your best on today's test. You'll be alright. But on the off chance you lose and find yourself in trouble, look inside the light blue envelope. I place the envelope in my pocket like a good luck charm. We've been working hard together, so... I'm sure it'll be alright. You may start your test. On the following day, when the test results were handed back... Three, two, one... The heck? 98 points? Yes! I won! What is this? You must have cheated! Oh, wait a minute, Watumi. What about the penalty game? I don't remember saying anything like that. I don't know. Mm. Well, I guess I should just be happy that I don't have to do the penalty game. Anyways, I gotta quickly go tell him the great news. I wrote him a thank you letter and placed it inside the locker. But from the next day, I was absent from school due to a fever from overthinking, followed by a cold. Gosh, I'm curious about the response letter. A week later, my fever finally came down and I could attend school, only to come across an unbelievable scene. It can't be. Why? The locker is gone! Oh, the locker? We'll have new ones installed, so we removed it three days ago. <laughs> but no worries, we have your personal belongings set aside in the teacher's room. So come pick them up. However, there was no sign of the letter among the belongings I got back in the teacher's room. Maybe the locker was removed even before I could receive a response. Or maybe he didn't write me back? After school, I stood dumbfounded where the lockers once were. Unmoving. Hey, Shizuka! I found this inside your locker. What's this? <laughs> Th that's... That must be his response! Give it back! No way! Cause I'm the one who found it first! Finders keepers! If you really want it back, you better come alone to meet me behind the school building after school. It's definitely a trap, but I really want that letter back! What on earth should I... Oh, that's right! I suddenly remembered the envelope and rushed to check its contents. A cell phone number which could be his own was written inside. Hello? Uh, hello? My name is Shizuka. Um, from the locker. Uh, Shizuka-san, are you alright? It connected. I explained the situation to him. I understand. But to be honest... I don't really want you jumping into a dangerous situation just over a letter, but... I have one idea. Once you're behind the school building, don't resist her and stay put. 
Ah, you came. Jeez, I didn't think you'd really come alone. <laughs> Too funny. Dude, Warumi, is this her? Doesn't look like someone I'll enjoy beating up. They look like textbook examples of female motorcycle gang members. <laughs> Don't hold yourself back. Then I guess I'll go full on. No way, no way, no way! Not moving in this situation? My life is screwed! Besides, I didn't even ask for his name! I don't want to die like this! Wait right there, Warumi! Huh? Quit getting in my way! I'm posting this on my Instagram right now! Oh, wait! The teachers? A pack of them! How dare you treat someone who stays non-resistant like this? The teachers are sad to realize you're someone who would do such a thing. Y you've got me all wrong! Are you messing with us? We just caught you giving out the orders! You're coming with us to the teacher's room to listen to your excuses! <laughs> Stop crying! And who even are you two? Go home! Uh oh, alright! All right. I... I'm safe. Or... I think... I was going to call two, three more teachers, but... I guess that was effective enough. Huh? You gave me a call, right? Remember? From the locker? That was me. Um... The one from the locker is... Senpai? Huh? So to explain. The person I've been writing to this whole time was Akira Senpai? But but why would you even take time to do that to a first year's locker? How do you even unlock the door? Oh, it's not like that. Who you've been corresponding with was the first year version of me. Huh? One year ago, I was exchanging letters with a girl who claimed to be Shizuka via that locker. But at that time, no girl named Shizuka Minami went to the school. At first, I just thought this was connected to a first-year student's locker from another high school. But the other day, I realized something when I saw the wax and wristband I used to use back in first grade inside your locker. We had been sharing the same locker, but at different points in time. But then why didn't you tell me? If I had known at the time, I... I wanted to know why. The reason why one day, I suddenly stopped receiving letters from you. I've been worried you stopped writing back since you started hating on me. But I finally understood the reason after the locker was removed. I've been waiting for your phone call for one year. Senpai... Does a miracle like this really happen? What should I do? I want to keep corresponding with you, but... Is it just too cheeky to ask? And... I actually asked for something in that letter. But could I just say it right here and now? Oh, sure! Could it be that you also want to stay pen pal, senpai? Shizuka Minami-san, I like you. Please go out with me. What? This is how I came to start enjoying school life with an amazing boyfriend. I'd like to keep cherishing this connection we formed thanks to that mysterious locker. <laughs>